good day, boys and girls. Trust all of you are well and safe at home. Today, I am going to do part two of our database lesson. As you recall, in part one, our introduction to database, I left you with a little task to do in which you had to complete at least five records. So as you can see here on my screen, what I've done is I've completed another two, four, six records for you. Okay, so we have our records here. In total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records. This way, we have our field names, which is admission, sunny, name, grade, gender, school fees. So we've actually got our data sheet view up with our records that are currently being displayed. Now in this view, as you've already seen, we can add in more records. We can also delete a record. So for instance, if I wish to delete Governor Joe, I will click on the record, right click, and click on delete. Database will ask you, that you are about to delete one record. If you click yes, you won't be able to undo this delete operation. Are you sure you want to delete these records? So database will ask you the question, are you certain that you want to delete? In this case we do, so we'll click yes. And we will see Governor Joe is now out. Okay, then if I want to sort my records out okay according to the surname field all i do is click on my surname field and then i will go to sort which is here and if i want in ascending order i'll click ascending order if i want Descending order, I can choose descending order. In this example, we will use ascending order. If you notice, the surname together with all the other information from the other related fields are still together. In the data sheet view, we can also bold our text if we wish to do so. We can italics it if we want to. We can underline if we wish to do so, but I'm just gonna take off italics for the moment. We can also add in color, okay? I can undo the color as well. Okay, so I can go back to automatic. Oh, I can also go down here to alternate row color and I can choose what color I would want it to be. Okay, so that's what you can basically do here for the design. Then I want you to go back now to design view. In here, I showed you the previous lesson that how we can add on a default value for F. Now I wanna show you another feature today which is called validation rule. Say supposedly, in data sheet view, you can go back there. You can always request you uh, if you want to save and you say yes. So in data sheet view, an agenda. Say for instance, instead of typing it F or M, the user typed in another letter. So to prevent the user from doing that, we're going to design view and we use a thing called validation rule. So let's say we only want capture to enter either the letter M or F. Then type out M or F. But what in case the user entered another letter like W? So we need to give them a message that will prompt them to only type out the letters that we want them to type out. So here under text I will say please 
enter letters M O F when I save this okay it'll ask me if I want to um, continue with this with the new rules I'll click on yes go into data sheet view so see supposedly I started off another record I've started entering it's b one o eight and I go with Naidu Kesson C and I want to change this to M but by mistake I typed out N. Okay, there's an error message that will appear under validation text. It says please enter letters M O F only. So if I take out the N now and put in M, it will accept the value and there won't be a problem. Okay, let's go back. So that is done in design view under validation rule and validation text. So what are the other types of validation rules you can get? You can get ones that include numbers. So for instance, you want to range between uh, 80 to 100. You want the teacher to enter the marks of learners between 80 and 100. So you can actually use the words between and end. We know now we can use all. We can also use the words not. So if you want everyone except certain value, you can also use the not. We can also use the greater than sign, the less than sign, the equal to sign. Together what greater than equal to, less than and equal to. But as we continue with more activities, you will see the different ways in which we can do our validation rule. The next feature I want to show you is called the required. Now what required means is that when you are capturing your data, you cannot leave that field blank. At the moment, if I go into design view and I choose not to type anything under grade, the program will not have a problem with it. We will save and carry on. But if I go into grade and I set the required feature to yes, and I click save and go into data sheet view, I click yes here again, yes. Okay. When I click there, it will request. So 109 here, and we will go with play, Rachel, okay, and I'm going to leave this blank, go with female, leave that, and go to the next one. It will give me an error message it says you must enter a value in the vss.grade field so i will have to do that now so let's put her into our c and let's do the previous one as well 11 c and click on save okay so that's for what you have learned in this lesson this is how to format how to sort how to use a validation rule and validation text and how to set a field to required please remember that you have to practice this in order for you to become more familiar with this program remember it's the first time that you're doing database so you have to do this slowly you have to follow my instructions and please practice. Thank you. I'll see you next time for part three of Database.